Hi everyone, I'm Crispy. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, what is a walk-in? Alright, well walk-in is a soul swap. It's something that I had experienced about three years ago. And um, <clears throat> what I can tell you is that my first experience with that uh, was that I had a soul swap with a former Trisha Rose. Trisha Rose was who I had the soul swap with so that was my former name uh trisha rose and i'm now crispy and uh, because of this walk-in and the soul swap that we had uh, she um well my experience with the uh, soul swap is that when she when i came in to this vessel she had gone out so it's kind of like a um other people would look at it as possession but it's not a possession it's just a contract that you have with another soul or consciousness so it's like a consciousness goes out and then one comes in so anyways um i am crispy and i've had this awakening experience where i've just come to a place of knowing who i am now and who i was and wasn't um in this life experience that I'm learning about my true self. Um, a lot has happened um, in three years ago and also just coming to terms with um, this walk-in experience because it was everything was just new. Everything for me like just coming into this body um, was very new to me and it's like for the first time you know you drive in a car you get into a car you really don't know how to drive because you've had no experience of driving so you hop into a car and you go to turn the key and you're too scared to touch anything else because it's like you don't know what to do when that's your first time ever driving driven a car and so you've got someone sitting beside you and they're going to teach you how to drive well my walking experience was just like that it's me coming into this body and uh becoming aware of my surroundings because it's like I just woke up in this body and I'm starting to look around me I'm in the room I'm looking around me and um, looking at my body and even go look at myself in the mirror like um, for many of you that have played a game on PlayStation and you're actually playing this game where you can't actually see yourself you can't see your body but you're looking into the um you know you're looking out into the room and all you can see is like uh, whatever tools or weapon that you have in front of you that's the only thing you can see you can't really see your body well that's exactly how it felt for me so when i had my walking experience and i came into this body and i saw myself for the first time in the mirror i thought well wow, whoa she is big she that that is a big body that I came into that I downloaded into and download it just means a download of your consciousness your consciousness into a body so um, yeah that was like just the beginning and uh, becoming aware of my surroundings everything was new to me I felt like I was in a very strange place um, and uh, just having a, you know, it was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of confusion at the start. And there was a lot of, like, not remembering who I was or who I am. And uh, how I came to be here and why I was here. Why did I incarnate into this body? Why did I download? Why did my consciousness download into this body? And why did I anchor here in this body? And... Um, and so over, I, I think after I just, because I was asleep, I, I must have gone for a nap or something on the bed. And when I woke up, I woke up in this body in, that I didn't recognize. I woke, woke up in an environment that I didn't recognize. So it was just really all new to me. I'm like, wow, where did I, where did I just come from? And who am I? You know, you, you, it's like a person that has amnesia. You know, they, they don't know who they are. And they like have a lot of questions going on in their mind and there's a lot of confusion and that's what a walk-in is experience is exactly like it's like you come into his body and you just 
have so many questions you you wondering who what's your name and things like that and some people you know they come from a place of um well it's basically yeah it is like amnesia like having not having any memories of who you are where you're from what your address is who your family are um and uh have you ever seen a movie where um let's take the uh, movie the um cube and if, if you have seen that movie the cube where people just wake up in this um, place in this room and they don't know how they got there well that's exactly what it was like for me it's like i woke up somewhere and i found myself like confused about how i got there um a little bit afraid uh, as well because it can be a scary time it's a time where of um just uh going you know asking all these questions these questions coming in your mind and you're asking yourself um what do i do i mean you can sit there for a little while like i did i sat for a while and thought to myself um i had to take a moment i had to take a moment to just get my bearings together uh find out where where i was and what was i doing in this place and how did I come to be in this house <laughs> where everything is just so new to me? It's like I've just been down into a body and here I am. It's like, okay, all right, so I've got to get some answers. So the first thing I do is that um, I sat there. I sat up on the bed for a while and just sat there looking around me. And then my son walks into the room. He knocks on the door. He walks into the room and he goes, <clears throat> goes to me. Did you just knock on my door? And I looked at him. And I thought to myself, the first thing that came to my mind, like, uh, yeah, I think so. And I thought, at the same time, I was like, well, who are you? <laughs> I couldn't ask him who he was because uh, I was like, oh, no, I better not. Because he might be like, what do you mean? <laughs> so he's standing there at the door and, you know, asking me if I had knocked on his bedroom door. I was like, oh, I might have, I don't know. Anyway, he must he must have got a knock on the door to come out and check to see if I was okay. <laughs> so after about uh, like 10 minutes of just getting myself together, calming myself down, I thought to myself, well, I'm, I'm going to be going for a drive. So I get the keys wherever that was and I found the keys to the car. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go downtown and have a ride or something and go for a ride and clear my head. So that's what I did. I ended up going downtown and I was, went and sat outside in the car. I was like sitting in the car. I sat outside New World and, and I, I think it was New World. No, it was Countdown. I went to a supermarket anyway. Sat in my car, sitting there. There were people lining up outside of um, Countdown, you know, because uh, I think there was a time where it was a lockdown and everybody had to wait in the queue because there was like just one one person in, one person out, going into supermarket. And I sat there thinking to myself, what am I doing here? Like, why am I here? I went to the supermarket, didn't have a shopping list or anything, didn't need anything from the supermarket, but I went there anyway. And I just sat there, and I sat there, and I just looked at all these people standing in this line, and you know the thing that just really came to me is like this is all new to me something's happening and um, i'm not comfortable about this anymore and then people were like looking at me and uh sitting in my car and i thought no i'm going back home i'm going to go back home and i'm just gonna um go back home and try and find what what's going on with me because i just didn't something just felt weird and funny and it was all strange and all new to me so the walk-in experience um i had to find out about that and so i went on the internet when i got home and i started to do some research started to have a look at some videos on youtube started to listen to people on facebook and information that i could find I just kept searching and searching 
and then just one day I was just you know a couple of days later I come across this lady her name is Lori Ladd and I watched her video and she started talking about walking and I thought oh my gosh here it is this this is what it is and you know it started to explain to me about walk-ins and what a walk-in is and what happens when you have that walk-in experience we have a soul swap we swap with a, another consciousness of another being or another person and um, if it wasn't for Laurie Ladd um, I probably would have still been confused and uh, not able to you know process everything that I'd just gone through and what was happening with me so I might have thought that I needed to go and see a doctor and probably get some medication <laughs> so anyway that is uh, the walking experience that I had and um, uh, three years later uh, here I am today being able to sit in front of you and talk to you about this and um, just uh, let you know that you know it's a lot of baby steps it's a lot of growing that we need to do um, a lot of people talk about awakening and awakening to your truth of who you are where you came from and uh, the world that you've been living in and uh, how you've been brought up your entire life and things like that another thing with the um, walk ex in experience is that you're your diet changes. Um, before um, I had this walking experience, uh, I used to eat everything and anything. Uh, anything was okay. If it was affordable, then I was able to buy it. And uh, because things on the, in the supermarket these days, prices have just hiked. And it's unbelievable that, you know, the, the, the prices of food have just gone up so much. Well, anyway, my diet had changed after my walk-in experience. And um, I used to eat meat. I used to eat red, like, beef and uh, chicken. So those were kind of like um, the foods that I would consume. And uh, not a lot of vegetables. So I kind of really didn't like vegetables much. And I didn't think much of vegetables. I used to eat a lot of takeaways. Oh my gosh, the habits that we would get into, and you know, it's the years and years and years of um, just growing up eating all the wrong food, all the food that would just bring a lot of toxins into your body. So with the um, walking experience, that changed, my diet changed. I ended up becoming vegan, and um, I but I became a vegan kind of like slowly though. It's not something that just can happen overnight. It is an instant coffee. You've got to go into it slowly. And that's what I had to do to heal my body. So becoming uh, a vegan was also to heal this body. Because the body that I had my walking experience with was massive. And I'm talking about maybe 150, 160 pounds heavier. Um and unhealthy and unfit so there was a lot of work to do and as soon as I came into this body I had to work on my fitness had to work on my diet had to work on a lot of changes a lot had changed so in um, 2020 I think it was around about November I think it was um, no October 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 and October, November, around about that time anyway, um, that was when the um, exchange took place, the soul swap took place and then from there on I had to think about um, where to go to from there and I had to do a lot of research, had to find people that, um, that I could resonate with, I had to find people that I could relate to. And so that walk-in experience was uh, also, you know, a lot that I had to learn about my new life and the new, uh, everything that was just happening with me. Like, um, some people would talk about um, Dark Winter of the Soul, 
you've got to go through that. It's a lot of um, detox, a lot of cleansing, a lot of clearing. Um, everything is like a learning curve. You've got to unlearn and then you've got to relearn. Um, you've learned things like all your life growing up. And you've got to learn, unlearn all of that, what you've been taught, what you've been told, what you've um, learned growing up. And then you've got to relearn um, and change everything again. It's kind of like our bodies, you, you know, it's the greatest piece of technology. Uh, I think I've shared this in another video that um, we download a lot of information, not only in here, but also in here, in, these bo in this body. Whatever it is that you um, have learned growing up, is already downloaded into your body, into your system. And he, I used to think, okay, you know, before it's all just up here in your head. You know, you're experiencing a lot of things and it's all up there in your mind. And it's all up there in your head. But the thing is, is we don't, I've actually learned not to be in my head anymore. Just drop down into my heart and be centered right here in my heart. And so there was so much that I had to, to learn and, uh, and the diet was the big thing. Exercising, working out is another big thing and that's what changed um, uh, for me quite a bit because I, oh, I had to work on this body. Um, 150 pounds heavier, I had to do some work, serious work and a lot of things did change for me and um, and that's how I was able to get to where I am today. So today I'm nice and healthy, strong, uh, more vibrant, and uh, I love my body. Even even when it was 150 pounds, I still loved it. It didn't matter. You just that's the thing that we also learn is that learning to love ourselves. We can't love anybody else unless we love ourselves first. I mean, how can we love anyone else? If we don't love ourselves first, and we can't love the other person that might be in the same room with you or in, in, the, in your life, your family, your friends, or anything like that. So it has to start here. Here with me first, and then uh, being able to share that love with other people. Um, but yes, so exercise, diet, was the next thing that came after the walk-in. And then also finding my feet, really. Finding my feet and getting on the path and start learning about where to next and, you know, taking that walk down uh, memory lane of trying to uh, remember my origin and who I am. Now, another thing, too, is that we also experience is uh, family. Now... Growing up, I've always felt that I my, I didn't feel like I belonged in my family. Um, although I loved them and they may have loved me um, very deeply. And I just felt that um, I belonged, I came from somewhere else. And I just I couldn't collect with the family that I had. I always felt like I was adopted. I used to joke about it quite a lot and say, oh, I'm pretty sure I'm adopted. <laughs> But um, that is something where I felt I just didn't belong. And since I've had this uh, walk-in experience and have had an awakening and ascension, um, I actually found my family. And my family is my soul family. Um, so when you start finding people and these people, it's, you know, they start talking about their experiences and things like that, their walking experience, um, everything that's going on since uh, since 2020 and before that. And they start sharing their information, their truth, um, and guiding us um, on our path and our journey. And that's when the growth starts to begin. We can begin growing. We can begin to... Uh, find our feet and find our place in the world. 
um, in the world now because the the one that uh, that you leave, um, yeah. Well, anyway, that's another story. Um, so the path that I took um, to be here is uh, is it's just been a really awesome journey. I've learned a lot from others' experiences and. I've, um, I've made a really good friend here, Lyra, and she's been really awesome, and I'm just so grateful. I'm here at her home, and I'm just so grateful that she invited me here to, to stay with her and to be able to bring some content and make some videos for you guys, just to, you know, let you guys, um, it's basically coming to let you know who we are and where we come from, our journey, and our spiritual growth. We're on a spiritual path, a spiritual growth, and that's what we're here for. And, um, you know, we just go uh, grow even more. And the more things that you learn, the more experiences that you have, uh, the more that you have to share and be able to speak your truth. Talk to other people about your experience, your walk, everything that you've gone through in life. Um, it's not only also about life, but it, it's also about um, you know everything that has happened in the past few years. Um, there's a lot of growing to do. There's a lot of maturing to do. For me, uh, the former Trisha Rose, uh, I mean, she was she was someone that just didn't take anyone shit, she didn't tolerate shit from no one, she was very aggressive, she was, I wouldn't say aggressive in a violent way, but in a way where she just didn't tolerate anyone's nonsense, so I've, uh, you know, come into this body and I've changed all of that, it's kind of like a computer where you put a um, little USB into it and you download it with all the good stuff. <laughs> so it's kind of like cutting out all that bad stuff that once used to be in this body and that's just bringing you all the good things now and all the good things are is that you know I've um, found myself uh, not getting triggered by things that used to trigger her she used to get triggered I mean she she was a pretty mean driver she had this truck that she used to drive so she used to, and doesn't like anybody to be in her way. And it's like, you know, she was kind of like own the road. And I think some people were like that in Auckland because that's where she came from anyways. So when you're in Auckland, it's like you're, there's no patience <laughs> with anyone behind the wheel. It's like, get out of my way. I'm going to ram you or run into you. So that's um, the old self. And then in came Crispy, the new um, consciousness. So that consciousness went out, that consciousness has gone on to evolve and to grow and this one has just come in which is uh, crispy and uh, yeah there's a lot of changes that have taken place now. I've learned, um, I've had to like just download of uh, cleansing, clearing out, it's kind of like cleaning house. It's like you move into a house and you don't expect that the house that you move into has gone, it's already fully furnished. <laughs> so you come into a fully furnished house and it's like, well, you know what? I don't like some of the stuff in this house. I think I'm going to ship everything out and put it on the market and I'm going to bring in the new things that I like and that I feel that are going to be nice and comfortable and homey for me. So that's what it was like for my walk-in. It's like I walked into this house that was fully furnished and now it's time to clean house. And it's time for me to come in and to be able to bring to you um, more experiences that I go through, more um, growth and uh, being on the soul journey. And I call it a soul journey because it's, uh, um, you know, your soul is going through a journey, going through an experience and you're having to learn everything all over again. It's like unlearning and relearning. You've got to reprogram these bodies. 
these bodies are your computers. It is the greatest and most powerful technology that you could ever have. And there isn't anything else that I would rather, you know, I wouldn't swap it for anything else. I'm so honoured, just very grateful that I have this body and that I was gifted this body um, through my walk-in experience and coming to be here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to sit here in front of you and make these um, videos and talk to you about it. So a lot of has changed and um, just reprogramming the body uh, and reprogramming, you know, when I say reprogram, I'm, t I'm saying affirmations, affirmations and downloading your new body, your, the body that you had a walking experience with, downloading new information, good information um, and affirmation is the best way to do it. You've got to talk to your body. Now I know that might sound a little weird for you guys and for, for viewers and things like that, but you really got to talk to your body because your body's listening to you. It's listening to everything. It's listening to your thoughts. It's listening to your thinking. And uh, it's listening to your words and even listening to me as I speak right now. So you've got to talk to your body and you've got to reprogram your body because I tell you what, sitting in front of the TV, the TV is programming your body. It's giving, it's giving all of its negative energy and there is a lot of ne negative energy that can come from TV, especially watching the news. There's a lot of bad news that just comes on. That's why they call it the news. They never go on there to see any good news. It's always bad news. And so a lot of what we listen to on the television, because it tells lies to your vision, really, so it's actually talking to your body as well. And you don't want that. You don't want um, anything that you, you know, you're watching to program your body. You want to be able to be in power. You want to have your own power. You want to have your own affirmations. Affirmations like, I am powerful, or I am strong, or I am intelligent. And I am great. Those are the affirmations that you can reprogram your body with. I mean, years of uh, people telling us, uh, you're no good and uh, you'll never be able to do this and you can't do that. And no way. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you set your heart, whatever you set your mind to, you can do it. And that's what I'm here to tell you, is that we need to reprogram these. A lot of people, sometimes we, sometimes used to get into that place like, oh, you know, here's a, here's a program that someone, that, that people will always say, oh, I'm getting a sore throat. No, you're not. That's, that is something that you do not want to keep saying to your body. I'm getting a sore throat, I'm getting a sore throat, because you actually are programming your body with that, and your body's like, okay, we're getting a sore throat, and here we go. I'm getting a sore throat, you're getting a cold sicknesses and, and health issues and things like that yes it can come from no exercise it can come from eating the wrong foods and it can come from also you saying to yourself that I'm not feeling well I'm getting sick I am this I am that you want to change all of that and just reprogram you want to say I am healthy I am well I am strong I am successful I am intelligent and you just keep reprogramming your body with positive information, positive affirmation. Um, what else can I tell you and share with you? Now, yeah, positive affirmation. Being able to make those changes. So there is a whole lot more that I can share with you. And um, we will also get to those areas as well. Um... But for now, that is just basically all about my walk-in experience, about all the changes that I needed to make uh, with health and um, exercise, with um, diet and nutrition. Um, eating, going vegan was the best thing that I have done. It just brings a lot of clarity. But, you know, sometimes we also need protein. So it is okay if you're a meat eater that's fine as long as you're eating the meat that um, is organic you know you don't want to be eating something that's um, 
where most places like on farms where they drench the cows and all sorts of chemicals are going into these cows and then you get the spray on the grass and that they're eating that as well so you want to go organic or you know there might be meat that may be organic on the shelves and if you eat chicken you know free range chicken ch chickens that are that are brought up and raised um, with love um, and then if you're like your fish well fresh fish <laughs> get some fresh fish go out and do a bit of fishing and catch a free you know fish it's um, nice and fresh for you but there's a lot of a lot of the changes that comes with um, being a walk-in as well because it's like now you've got this new body and you're going to have to make some changes and uh, so it's out with the old program and coming in with the new all right so i think i'll wrap this up for now and i hope that all of this resonates for you and that it will help you understand if you've actually experienced a walk-in or anything like that and also help you to get used to who i am and know who i am and where i come from as well love you guys have a good day uh, thank you for being here and um, yeah we'll see you on the next video